Now at 5:30, a family in mourning tonight, and a neighborhood raises questions. A seven-year-old boy drowned in a backyard pool, and his family says he did not know the owner of the pool. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Nasha Sherman, and I'm Jim Barry. CBS News members Anna McAllister talked to the boy's family. She joins us from Fort Lauderdale, where that drowning happened. It's been a somber day in this neighborhood after that little boy was found dead in a pool in the backyard of this home that you see behind me. And according to the family of this little boy, a babysitter was supposed to be watching him when this tragedy happened. They had taken the child out and they were working on him, but we didn't know what his condition was. It's very sad, very sad. A heartbreaking scene in a Fort Lauderdale neighborhood. According to police, a homeowner found a young boy at the bottom of his pool late Monday afternoon on the 1100 block of Northwest 4th Avenue. Family identifying that little boy as seven-year-old Ryan Amachette. We were looking for him. We went all over Fort Lauderdale, all over the city. Mm -hmm. We couldn't find him. And then I see a lot of police was on around the corner. And then I, I ran to the police. I said, y'all seen the little boy? And then the police was like, we just found a little boy in the, in the pool. Gibson Severe is the boy's older half-brother. He said Amishet moved here with his mom from the Bahamas about two and a half years ago. Severe says that the boy's mom was working Monday afternoon and that a babysitter was supposed to pick him up from school. Yeah, she was supposed to be the one to pick him up, but she said she saw him walking down the street and she turned around. She didn't, because mm -hmm. she, she was calling him. I was like, why she didn't grab her hand on that? Severe says the pool is a few blocks away from where he lives. Severe says his brother didn't know the owner of the pool or how he got into the backyard of the home. Severe says he'll remember his brother as a happy, energetic kid, and he has this message for parents. If you got your kids, don't trust anybody with your kids. Severe tells us he's unsure if his little brother knew how to swim. We also reached out to Fort Lauderdale Police for an update on this case. They tell us they believe it was an accident, and they're still trying to figure out how this little boy ended up in the pool in this backyard. For tips on how to prevent drowning and how to stay safe in the water, you can head to our website, cbsmiami.com. But for now, reporting from Fort Lauderdale, Anna McAllister, CBS News, Miami.